We've got a very special edition of DIY Garage today. Joining me is JJ from ASUS. How are you guys doing? Hey, JJ. So uh, today we're talking about the RGB lighting and the capabilities of what it can do, yep. what's available, what's possible. Yeah, I think this has been a really interesting trend. If we look at pretty much about the last uh, 24 months within the PCDIY community, there's kind of been a resurgence to be able to have a different type of ambient lighting that's present within your system. So not necessarily about being like super bold and bright, but I think in different ways about accentuating the look and feel of a system, right? And one of the really cool things that we've looked at as this trend has continued to kind of uh, move forward is how can we be able to refine and improve the experience and work with partners to be able to offer a complete RGB lighting experience. So now, for the first time ever, you have the ability to have full synchronized RGB level control. So that means we're going to be able to take everything from the motherboard to the graphics cards to compatible LED strips and even chassis with integrated lighting and have those all synchronized to either be offering a static, clean, lean RGB LED uh, color or maybe even have uh, evolved patterns so that you can have the RGB sequence flow from one component out to another. So basically, uh, in, in the past, the way it's been done through my experience is uh, you know, you can buy these LED strips and you can tape them onto the side and you yep. have to buy the color that you want. And right. You a singular color, generally. Yeah. And you might have had to have like some type of remote or maybe you had to have like a sequencer. Um, you know, there's been maybe third party adapters. You've had to connect that to the LED strip. But things have now been considerably simplified and improved. Even things where like the, you can get multiple RGB LED strips like what we have in this system. Uh, Fantex makes an RGB LED strip that's magnetic. So you don't even have to have any adhesive. It oh, just nice. magnetically adheres to you, the inside of your chassis. That's, so that even has streamline the process in the same way that we have, you know, a Fantex chassis that has integrated RGB LED and all you've got to do is plug it into an Asus Aura enabled header motherboard and you're good to go. So it's a really simple process now compared to what you're talking about where for years it was complicated, convoluted, and not necessarily as streamlined as we would like You would want to buy a blue LED fan, and you'd want to buy the blue LED strip lighting, and you'd mm -hmm. want to buy the blue LED. You had to pick a color right. in many And cases. there was no way to synchronize it either. Right. So what you're saying now is all these devices are basically talking to each other. Mm -hmm. And how, you're going to show us how all this works? Yep. We're going to jump into the desktop interface. We're going to go through a couple of the different options they have available to you and ultimately show you what it looks like. Awesome. All right. Well, let's get started. Okay. Now the soft the software that you've got up here though this says Aura Yes, yeah, so this is the ASUS Aura software. So this is compatible across a wide range of different motherboards. We're using specifically in our system here the latest Rampage 5 10th anniversary board. Uh, so this is the software that it comes with. It's got multiple RGB lighting zones. So you can see here that at the top. Well, let me interrupt you for a second. Mm -hmm. If if I buy a, a video card that has this capability mm -hmm. or a case that has this capability, mm -hmm. it does me no good. Mm -hmm. They're not going to come with the Aura software. I have to have a motherboard primarily that has this. Actually, the motherboard is the main key to the whole thing, right? I would definitely say, actually, the more the motherboard is really kind of the heart of this entire ecosystem. Uh, the main reason being is that the motherboard has a, what we refer to as an Aura RGB header. So that's actually what allows you to have the LED strip and even the chassis interface directly and have the synchronized level of control. Okay. So, so once you've got, uh, we could talk about the limits of how many LEDs, but clearly mm -hmm. I can see we've got the case lighting, we've got the video card. Four separate. So even though the motherboard has nine different zones on itself, the graphics card has three zones. The LED strip is in itself a, a long LED strip, and then the LEDs inside of the chassis. We can think of it as four separate zones. Motherboard, graphics card, LED strip, and then chassis lighting. And when you're plugging in the, uh, is there a separate cable, I guess, I'm asking for... I mean, clearly an LED strip has to plug directly onto the board, yes. right mm -hmm. onto the header. Mm -hmm. What about the video card? Do we have to run another cable? Nope. That interfaces directly on a low level through the motherboard and through the software. Nice. So it's All just right. pretty much like installing a standard graphics card, you're good to go. All right. I'm with you now. So at the top right here, we've got essentially the different options available to us. So we're going to focus predominantly on grouping because um, while these are available to us in terms of main board and VGA, uh, we don't necessarily need to focus on that. But you you can go in and if you just want to have singular lighting, of course, that's available to you. If you bought just the Strix card or right. ASUS board that had lighting, of course, that's how you would customize it. But we want to focus on the cool element of being able to have synchronized lighting. So once you select group, you're going to see that you actually have two options. One is called synchronize all areas and the other is called sync the VGA. And the reason why you have synchronize all areas is that essentially is telling the software to interface uh, with the LED strip and with the chassis, as well as if there's multiple zones on the motherboard where we essentially want this color to be consistent throughout the entirety of the LED chain. Okay. Okay. And we're also going to want to have uh, Sync VGA to include the graphics card as part of this. Now there's multiple presets you have available to you, so static, 
breathing, and strobing. Now, uh, just for reference, we will go ahead and uh, move over here to our color wheel. Let's say we wanted to pick green. Yeah. Uh, this is our primary color, and here we essentially have uh, kind of like a hue. You can pick essentially how bright or how dark it is uh, in terms of you want to control it a little bit more. So you can see if I go more uh, towards here, I'm going to get a bolder kind of brighter green, yeah. whereas if it was more here, uh, I'm going to get a little bit more white and just a little bit of green, right? So let's just go ahead and test that out. We can hit apply and we'll see that it actually shifts over and we're good to go. So it's a very simple process and you see that that works then through the entirety of everything that's connected. So that's static. So at this point right now, we're at the level of what I described, which is you buy the, the, the specific color of the lights that you want. Mm -hmm. That's big. Oh, but now it just changed. Just changed to blue. So, all right. And it just stays that color. Correct, it's static. In it's this gonna, mode. Yep, in this mode. But if, let's say, we wanted to throw breathing effect into that, which is a very popular effect amongst the enthusiasts, we can click Apply, and now this will maintain the same color, but it'll slowly fade in and out, essentially our breathing mode. It's, okay. It's very popular. And but you, everything's synchronized together, right? Correct. Because and that's that, what that checkbox was for. Right, and that's the big difference, because even in the past, where if you would have had everything linked up, you couldn't necessarily have them all synchronized to execute the same effect. Right. Right. Um, so we have other options. You can see, like, strobing, which is, uh, you know, for some people, they might like that. Um, I think going in an entirely other direction, a really nice option is actually a color cycle. So this actually will cycle through the entirety of the LED chain, changing colors. So this is pretty interesting, essentially if you really want to showcase the range of what RGB lighting offers, this is something that traditionally in the past you wouldn't have had the option to do. So, so basically, I mean, this, this is nice, all right, we're shifting through different colors, but can we have the, you say there's different zones, the whole point of the zones, isn't that so that you can have each zone could have its own color? Yeah, you, you could also break that up. You would essentially want to unsync the VGA option. Uh, you would want to go back to essentially static modes. And as you see right here at the top, you could go through and you could selectively pick what do you want, LED strip, And I noticed the little lights. dot below each device has matched the color. Correct. Yep. And so you, you could pretty much just go and define those separately if you wanted to, select the color, and you'd be good to go. Um, now beyond that, uh, I think one of the other interesting options is going to be the Rainbow Comet mode. Okay. Um, which this was a, uh, the cool thing here is that we then even give you more control in terms of the direction and the speed. So take for instance, if we go ahead and select this, uh, we're going to essentially have ah, a, a trailing comet talking. effect. Yeah. Right? So this is pretty distinct, pretty interesting. I tend to actually like this mode, it's pretty interesting, but I like it in cycle and then slow. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and click the cycle mode and slow it down a bit. And then you get a little bit more of kind of this clean trailing effect that occurs. But also you've combined that with the rainbow effect where you have essentially the variation in color. So all the way around, uh, it's a really interesting combination in terms of being able to tailor kind of a specific look and feel to your system in a really easy way. As you can see, the interface is not complicated to use. Uh, it's pretty uh, straightforward in terms of being able to select the different options. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it seems like this is something I could do. Mm -hmm. And I see there's something called CPU temperature. Correct. So these uh, last two options are specialized modes that we offer for users that maybe want a little bit of utility or functionality. So with CPU temperature, if we select this, you'll see that there's actually a, a fixed color pattern down here between 20 to 40 to 60 degrees to 80 degrees Celsius. And so essentially when your system's running extremely cool, it's going to be at the lower color scale, right? And then when it gets much hotter, it's going to increase. So when you're gaming, yep. you don't have to have a monitor of any kind. You can just, your case lights are going to tell you. Yeah, essentially you're just going to know in real okay, time kind of the temperature. Cool. That's pretty cool. And for the guys that really enjoy kind of a little bit maybe of a background ambient kind of flair when they're listening to music, they could select the music mode and essentially the LEDs will respond to any music that's being played. All right, I, I see the fun in that. That's actually very cool and yeah. like I said, very simple. Now, what if, because this is obviously we're running Windows here, what if I'm a Linux guy? So the great thing about that is that we also do offer users to be able to customize the RGB lighting directly through the UEFI. So you can reboot, go into the UEFI interface, and make some customization. Now, some of the more complex options might not be available there, but for users that are looking for simplified options like color change, strobing, uh, breathing mode, or even static color, you can do that all within the UEFI. OK, so basically it's just more granular with the software mm -hmm. and basic functionality is available in the, in the BIOS. Yep, you're good to go. So one other question I have is, you know, the lighting is great and everything, mm -hmm. unless it's in your bedroom where you sleep. I mean, there's a place and a time, and I just noticed that you've got an on and off there, and I'm assuming... Yes, it's all grouped together, so if you just want to be able to disable the lighting, click the button, and you're good to go. Awesome. Love it. All right, well, thank you so much for the demonstration. Really appreciate it. No problem. And I hope you guys out there enjoyed this video, and if so, you can let us know by clicking the like button and subscribing for even more great content. Also, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. For more great content, you can also check out Newegg's new video shopping platform at newegg.tv. For Newegg TV and DIY Garage, I'm Kerry Holzman, and I'll see you next time.
Bye for now.